what people wear often characterizes who they are and what they do for a living. Fashion design has become highly competitive today because the world of fashion is constantly evolving. Fashion designers work in a number of ways, sewing, knitting, creating, sketching, applying designs, aesthetics, and natural beauty to clothing and accessories, such as bracelets, necklaces, bags, and shoes. They consider who is likely to wear a garment and the situations for which it will be worn. If I tell you this won't suit you, I will tell you why it will not suit you. The fact that ABC is wearing that style yeah. does not mean that it's going to suit you. I'll tell you your body shape, I'll tell you your complexion, I'll tell you even the way you walk. Well, well the first thing we consider is, um, firstly, I like to make designs that resonate with the client. I would not want a situation where I make something and the person is like, no, we consider body shape, body size, because for uh, maybe um, someone who has uh, this, this uh, upper part of the body that is very large wants to go for a figure eight kind of style. It doesn't work that way. So, I mean, we consider body size or body shape, as some people call it. We also consider, you know, the fabrics because some fabrics don't support some designs. Given a job environment today, fashion designers can consider themselves lucky as only 3.7% of designers are currently unemployed. Employment of fashion designer is projected to grow 3% from 2016 to 2026. It is very vast. And I tell anybody who cares to listen, fashion is actually as vast as engineering, as vast as any other occupation you want to know. You can never do everything, everything in the fashion in the fashion space you've got to have to carve in it for yourself so either you are doing dressmaking or you are doing pattern drafting or you are doing modeling or fashion photography or draping it depends it's actually very wide so but you've got to carve in it for yourself and stay become an authority in that aspect a vibrant fashion industry has the capacity to accommodate in a huge workforce employing everyone from designs, illustration, graphics, communication, media, marketing logistics, among others. All these related industries play a major role in bringing fashion products to the doorsteps of the final consumer. The world of fashion is so vast, it's really, really vast. You can stop at just designing. Just being able to sketch can earn, you can earn money. Just being a machinist, you're not cutting, right? Or someone cuts for you and you sew, you're able to machine properly. You can earn a living from that. And then you can also be a pattern cutter. If you stop at just drafting the pattern and cutting out the designs, you can make a living. So if you combine the three, what, 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 what do you think you have? You'll be out there creating jobs and making money. Fashion designers are the ones to establish what is in and out, both setting the trends and creating timeless designs. Fashion designers are creating. Every fashion house, fashion outfit, they all have their creative directors of what should be involved. And, and at the beginning of the year, there's a calendar this is what should come out at this time, this is what should come out at this time. Some go as far as producing everything that is supposed to be done for that whole year and they're looking forward to the next year. But I know of a um, fashion house, I think Zara. Zara is more of um, a, 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 a designer that does, you know, they are concerned about now. They just release some specific outfit to the market and see how it goes. Because the, the, the challenges or the risk involved in releasing all outfits at the beginning of the year is this. By the time the market doesn't accept it, you are at a very big loss. Mm -hmm. Yes. But these people, what they do, and specifically what I do, 
I release my designs quarterly. Yes. So every quarter, at the beginning of the year, we have designs, you know, um, I mean, tabled out. This is what we want to do in, in the first quarter. This is what we want to do in the second quarter. We want to do all that. However, it is bound to change when you discover that, okay, this is not good. I mean, that's the flexibility, the ability to adjust. To build a future in this field, one needs to have an artistic and creative personality. Aspirants need to be good at drawing and helpful sketches. Acquiring knowledge in fashion designing will put you in a good position and a leverage to compete globally. For me, 15 and a half plus 6 inches. No? Good girl, that's it. This is the time, so this is what we're going to do. We have to wear you will cross this thing out. You can also apply for internship or apprenticeship. If school is not for you, or you simply feel that real world experience will be of more benefit to you. Fashion is my passion. It's something I've always wanted to do right from when I was a child. When I was a child. So I came here in January 2020 and so far it's been amazing. Very amazing. I don't regret it at all. So and I intend to go further in it. What you do for the passion, the money will come eventually. You get you don't even need to hustle for the money you see it to come people will come because when they see what you're wearing they see what you do like this one i made this one i'm wearing so each time i wear ah, where did you make it i made it so it brings more client to me i don't even advertise but when i wear what i make people just come ah you know, i like this thing you're wearing so i made it so that way the money will even come <laughs> like now i'm even choked because i have a lot of people that i'm making clothes for the connections you make through your internship or apprenticeship will be vital as you pursue your career in fashion. Working with industry professionals will give you an opportunity to pick up important skills firsthand. When I came back to Nigeria, I've been on air calling people to come on, come and learn. Come and learn the perfect way of sewing. And the way I dress inspire people yeah. because you wouldn't know when I'm sad. You won't know. You would never know. When I'm well dressed, you won't know what's on my mind. Okay. Fashion is one thing that can cover you in rainy or shiny days. So no matter how you feel, you don't need to tell the world how it is with you. And the only thing that can mask that, masquerade that perfectly, is if you dress well. I love fashion. I would like to say the fashion world is a very complex one and you have to define which one is yours but when you say how has it been in the fashion world it's trying to keep up even as learners as fashion enthusiasts and fashion lovers even as a fashion entrepreneur you have to keep up with the trends and keep improving on your skills